Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you shared members, also known as static members in other programming languages. And you would actually use the keyword static in other languages. In Visual Basic, you use the keyword shared. So what is a shared member? So a variable, for example, you can make it shared. And what that means is it's shared, essentially, amongst all of the objects of that class doesn't matter how many objects you create whether it's two three four five a thousand it doesn't matter instead of each object having its you know own set of variables that could have their own set of values any changes made to a shared variable is almost like change to all of them but they all only you know use one It'd be better if I just show you what I mean. I'm going to create a new variable. Call it public. Public. And I'll call it owner. As, as a string. So the owner is a string. And to make this a shared variable, before the name of your variable, but after public, you just put shared right here. And it needs to be a capital S, it's automatically changed it. And now, if I were to just do, let's say, C1 dot where's owner. Hmm. Why can I not? Access the the value. Hmm. I want to try and access owner. It's not letting me access it. So if I try and do that, what's this saying? Hmm. Okay. Let's just set it to me, so for on. And let me just print it there. So if I do console.writeLine c1.owner for run it, let's see what we get. So, okay, that's fine. I, I don't know why you wasn't actually popping up in the IntelliSense. That got me a bit worried. I thought I did something wrong, but it's fine. Okay, so we've, you know, assigned the owner of car1 to me. That's pretty cool. But we haven't assigned a particular owner to car2. Let's see what happens if we print out car2's owner. It's for Han as well. And what would happen if I printed both of these out? And I did c2.owner. So I'm only changing the car2 owner here. And I do it to Batman, which is my auto ego. And if I run it, they're both owned by Batman now. So that's what a shared or a static variable is. You can do shared and static, you know, methods as well, similar process. So it just means that the, you know, the property is shared amongst all of the objects and any changes made to one means that all of them have that change as well. So they don't get their own instance of that property. They just have one property that is shared for every you know car object that is if you have multiple classes so if you have a car class and a motorbike class then a shared object in the car class will not be you know affecting the motorbike class for example so that's it for shared properties in visual basic if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video